Hello everybody, welcome to SEP TV and welcome to our classroom today. Today in our classroom, we have something very, very interesting to study and that is simply what we call higher order derivatives. For instance, you can perform differentiation once. Now, they can ask you to perform differentiation numerous times. Instead of asking you to just find your normal dy, dy by dx, they can ask you to perform the, uh, the derivative more than once, like twice, like three times, like four times. That is what we call higher order derivatives. Now today, I want to welcome you especially to CERT TV. Today we will be studying higher order, the derivatives of higher order functions. Today, we are going to be studying how to differentiate higher order functions. For instance, performing differentiation once, or twice, or three times, or even four times, depending on what we have been asked to do. This is Set TV, and you are highly welcome. I very strongly believe that our classroom today is going to be very, very interesting and exciting. You are highly welcome once more. We will be right back after this break. x 
to the power 4 divided by 24. Now what is this squared y by the x squared? That means differentiate what you have gotten a second time. Now when we do that, it means that d squared y by dx squared simply becomes equal to um, this will be equal to, I'm taking 1 over 24 outside and multiply, I'm bringing down 4 when you bring down 4, you have 4x to the power 4 minus 1 simply gives me 3 so I have here 3 and then 4 into 24 will simply give me 6 so this simply gives me, I have 1 over 6 x cube. Beautiful and of course this can simply also be written as x cube divided by 6. So you begin to see something now that our second derivative, we call this the second derivative or what we call the square y by the x squared. So I can clean up here and bring down that information here. We have been asked to find the cube y by the x cube. So I have just found that the square y by the x squared is simply going to be equal to, I have found it to be x cube divided by 6. Okay, what about the third derivative that is the cube y by the x cube that we have been asked to? provide a solution for, then we simply have that d cube y by d x cube will simply be equal to 1 over 6 into, now when you differentiate x cube, uh, when you differentiate x cube, you are simply going to get 3x squared, like bringing down the 3 and then subtracting 1, okay, now we close this, 3 will go into the 1, and then you will to 62. So at the end of the day, I simply have x squared, this x squared, now divided by 2. Hello everyone, thank you so very much for coming around to our classroom today. Always remember that accepting me, our vision is very, very simple. To move the classroom right into your bedroom. And of course, our mission is simple as well add something to that which you already know. Thank you so much for coming up and for staying on until the end of our classroom today. I hope to see you again next time. Please, just in case you have not subscribed to Set TV, you can do that right now. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.